I didn't see you there. I just got the new colored rail guards for the pint. And I'm giving you a sneak peek. Spo Spoiler alert, the new pint rail guards are actually worth the money. Stay tuned for more on this. I'm your host today. Tech, Tech Member TV pint colored rail guard review. And they, they're nice, honestly. Uh, they are, I'll spoil it for you. You can just click off the video if you want. They're worth the money. I got some B-rolls to show you how they look. So these little uh, pint rail guards here, they're listed on there as $25. And, uh, you know, obviously there will be tax on that. And if you order under $40 uh, worth of product, you'll probably have to pay shipping as well. So for me, uh, I ended up getting these uh, olive green rails here and a little charger plug that I have since either misplaced or lost on a uh, trip down to the bridge to the next town over. Uh, but honestly, I was very happy with the quality of these rails. At first I thought they might be uh, kind of like the old ones, uh, like a thin tape style design that just went over the top to protect it. Uh, but they're actually a hard acrylic. They have a gloss finish. Uh, they seem like they will scratch up rather easily. Uh, I, I just set mine down briefly on its side, and there were some small scuff marks I'll uh, get some footage of. But uh, overall, a solid product, I, I would say. I, I, I think it was worth the, the $30 or $25 in shipping I paid, because uh, it does make a big difference, and my rails were getting pretty marred up. Uh, you can see down to the actual aluminum on some parts of it, especially down towards the edges. <clears throat> but honestly, I do think it is worth the price completely. Uh, they turned out looking really good. I, I like the, the color. It's a little lighter than it looks on the website, as was the, uh, the coral plug I got. This here, I just spray painted the top, uh, so it's a little darker than the coral from uh, One Wheel's website. Uh, I just did uh, three coats of that, and then uh, three coats of clear coat, waited a day, and then did that again, uh, the clear coat. But honestly, yeah, you will have like a small, maybe sixteenth, maybe under sixteenth of an inch on your edge here that kind of pops up. I don't mind it at all. I think it looks pretty good. It kind of adds to the, the spice of the board, in my opinion. But if you did have a problem with that you could always take uh, before you applied the thing a little bit of sandpaper to the edge to get it so it has a smooth finish uh, or a smooth kind of contour to your board but I honestly like the look of the little sixteenth of an inch or thirty seconds of it probably sixteenth of an inch little edge that you get here uh, kind of just a little more color that wasn't on the board prior but yeah, I like it. I might uh, do the old trim again, get it trimmed out. Uh, so it had the yellow trim with the pink and green. So a little bit of flavor to it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people think it looks pretty wonky, but I kind of like that. I like the wonky look it has. It's kind of an odd color combination. Uh, but I like every once in a while looking down and seeing it. Kind of gets me a little more stoked than I already was. I didn't mind the gray. Uh, but I think it's just time for a change. I'm riding it. I had a 40-day streak. I was probably riding it for 45 days straight. Put around 130, 120 miles on it. And then uh, I started trying to skate again and learn how to kickflip. And I totally lost my streak. So now I'm probably not going to try to get the streak back up after losing the top, it was in the top uh, 200, I think, maybe top 100. But that's not important to me, really. But I do still love the board. It's fucking amazing. Uh, super smooth. When you switch from something like this to uh, any other type of rideable device, you really notice the difference. Uh, so I'll probably have a more full review of the board in the future. Uh, but yeah, these rail guards overall, I'll give you a closer look at them. They, uh, they turned out mighty fun. Get my camera steady. Sorry for the shaking. You can see that little uh, edge I was talking about there. But honestly, I, I kind of like it. I think it looks cool. Uh, at first, I didn't like the little point there at the tip. But uh, now I kind of like seeing it overall. 
but yeah, I was uh, impressed with the quality. They uh, go on easy. I will say that you kind of want to line them up with these holes here. Um, on one side, I kind of messed up, not this side, but the other one, uh, the lining. I'll show you that in a minute, but uh, overall, I was really happy with the quality of the rails. They're pretty thick. Yeah, but overall, I would say the rail guards are worth the money. Uh, whether you just want a little splash of color or you're tired of your one wheel tumbling on the asphalt and uh, showing it's kind of under its paint there, the aluminum coating. Mine was kind of starting to look very speckled. Now it's clean again, and it only, you know, only cost a small amount of money. I uh, paid, like I said, $40 probably, maybe 38 for this uh, rail guard and the charger plug and then just painted that with a three dollar can of paint and I had some clear coat lying around and it's holding up great it's uh, you can scratch it I got multiple coats on there so it's a uh, it's very durable and that's not a part of the one wheel that takes a lot of abuse to uh, it's usually it's the sides or the wheel or the bumpers uh, but yeah I do recommend I recommend the rail guards. They they're thick. They go on easy. Uh, I actually tried removing one after I got this, like maybe a sixteenth of an inch off. Uh, that glue is on there. I thought about doing it with the heat gun, and I started a little bit. So you're gonna you would have to get those suckers pretty hot if you want to remove them. Uh, I don't know what one wheel's plan is to remove the rails. So maybe if you are uh, thinking about putting these rails on and you're not sure about it maybe wait on that or uh, acquire a heat gun but even when I blasted this with my heat gun this rail here specifically uh, it, it, it would take some solid heat because they're so thick to get that thing off uh, you can always use a solvent of some kind I'm not worried about it at all if, if you uh, want to remove because that adhesive is very strong I don't know if one wheel is going to make some sort of a overpriced you know rail guard removal kit but if they do I'm sure it will sell uh, these rail guards like I said I don't feel they're overpriced at all I'm happy with the price I paid they, they seem thick and durable and I do think they will add additional protection to the one wheel <clears throat> so if you are thinking about picking some up um, I would say do it they're not too bad they're not too expensive they're uh, very clean seem very durable and uh, I did have to sign for the package when mine came. So uh, just be fair warned there. You may have to sign for your package. But uh, yeah, very happy with them. I went with the olive green. They have a huge selection of colors. Uh, I don't know what the tax will be for you, but uh, around for me it was around $38 total once I uh, paid for everything. But I did get that coral charging plug as well. But yeah, overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with the purchase. They, they are, you know, solid. It's a solid rail, and the colors do seem to run a little bit lighter uh, than in person than they are on website. I don't know if that's just my monitor, uh, if it's not properly color graded or what. But uh, from my experience with the coral and the dark olive, this uh, is a lot lighter in person than it is on website. For me, that was a positive thing. I was happy about that. I thought it would be a little darker than this, and I'm fine with how light it is. I think it looks good for me. Uh, but keep that in mind if you are ordering uh, pint rail guard protectors, or maybe any rail guard protectors. They do seem to be a little darker on the website than they are in person. But yeah, overall, not a lot of complaints. Solid. When you put them on, they are... Uh, shaped perfectly to the rail. I'd just be careful to line those up to those holes so you don't affect your charging or anything like that. Uh, but it is a very simple process. You just line it up and slap them on. After you get the first one lined up, you just butt the other one up against the new one. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, that's the video. That's, that's it. Love you. Subscribe. Subscribe. If you are a spreader of spiders, then just don't subscribe because uh, that's the poll.
Thank you guys.